Hi, I am Andrea's mom. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit about how do you find support and how do you find a new purpose to your life once your child is gone, your sibling, or if you are a grandparent and you lost a grandchild, how do you find a new purpose to your life? My daughter passed, or I just usually say she was promoted uh, July 4th, 2015, so it's just nine years. It's actually already nine years, or it's just nine years. It just depends on the day. Um, and I became involved very quickly uh, with support groups because I was determined that um, one, I would get better, and two, my daughter would never be forgotten, and three, I had to find a new purpose to my life so that I could move forward and thrive be happy again while carrying her with me at all times. I always say she's on this shoulder, sometimes she's on this one. And so to me, um, I went through all the stages of grief, probably several times, never in the same order. Once I decided that there was nothing I could do, and I accepted the fact that she was not coming back, I'm not happy about her death, obviously, but. I knew I could not change the outcome. Once I got the acceptance, then I was able to find this new purpose to my life. And I started to, first of all, educate others because education is key in this grief journey. Educate others that it was okay for them to mention my daughter's name. They would not remind me that she was dead. I knew that. They would remind me that she lived. She lived 24 years, a beautiful life. And I wanted to make sure that everybody remembered. For that, you have to tell your story. You have to tell others that it's okay to share. Um, they don't have to be afraid to come to you and um, talk about a person that they have never met. And so nine years later, I have so many people who come to me and ask about my daughter. They never knew her, but through me, through my living children and through my husband, they know her because we talk about her. We talk about how amazing she was. And we continue helping others, letting them know that yes, there is a way to get better. And at one point, you will smile and you will laugh and you will have, you will still continue to cry, but there are good tears. It's okay to cry, um, but you will find a way to make your life better by some people find that um, having a foundation might be the way to go. Some others, it is um, having scholarships or, or whatever it is finding a way to honor your child, your sibling, or your grandchild will lead you to a better life. Never forgetting them, letting people know about them. And nine years later, I am thriving, I am happy. I still grieve and I will grieve the rest of my life because grief is love. And I would not want to change anything because I loved her too much. So find your right support group find a way to get better and don't be afraid to ask people to help you.